the water came through um, the front door and the back door. So we had sandbags up. I had a lot of friends come and help me put sandbags and bail it out, but we just couldn't bail the water out as fast as it was coming in. It was our home. It wasn't just our house, obviously. You know, it's a bit cliche, but it is our, was our home, and it just doesn't feel the same since it's, it's, it's just not as it was. Every time you get a heavy downpour, you just worry, is it going to happen again? There are some parts of Essex that are very low lying and, they, and they're bordering very close to the ocean now. And if you think about adding another metre of sea level on top of that, there'll be regions of Essex that are permanently underwater in the future. And in my research, I study the Antarctic ice sheet. So why should we study the Antarctic ice sheet? Well, there's enough ice in Antarctica that if it all melted, sea level globally will go up. So even here in Essex, which is a long way from Antarctica, it will feel the effect of any change that's going on in Antarctica as a consequence of sea level change. It wrecked everything. You know, for me, my house is my biggest investment in life and it's supposed to be a something to leave for the kids in the future. So from that point of view, it's very distressing. We'd spent a lot of time and a lot of money getting the house how we wanted it. And now it's just, I don't know, just walk around and you get depressed everywhere you look, spotting something else that isn't right. We, yeah, it's just soul destroying. Yeah, it's just starting to rain again. And uh, hopefully it's only a small, small drop of rain because if it's a lot of rain, we got the possibility of flooding again. As soon as it rains, you just think to yourself, is this the time that I lose my home again?